Hello everyone, Surreal Snow, and today I'm going to teach you how to use Mars Shadow. So in the Anything Goes tier, which if you didn't know, that's what AG stands for. In my opinion, Mars Shadow is probably one of the best Pokemon you could use. Even in just normal single, even in normal single battles, just in like Pokemon Sword and Shield. So I'm going to teach you how to make, in my opinion, one of the best versions of Mars Shadow. Alright, so I'm going to get kind of the boring part out of the way pretty quickly. So for the EVs, I recommend 252 attack and speed, really maximizing Marshall's best stats. And for defense, just because defense is its lowest stat, and that's really, there's really not, it th that last four isn't really that important. And for your nature, take away special attack since you're not going to be using any special moves. And I would recommend boosting speed for this build, but boosting attack is also amazing. It's really your choice. So this item is actually going to seem pretty strange to some people. So instead of the normal life orb that Marshadow would use to give it insane attacks, I'm going to give it a focus sash because this Marshadow build it really, in my opinion, needs a focus sash, and you'll see why. So, yeah, you can put a life orb, but if you do, then I'd probably recommend using a slightly different build. So these are the two real important moves, Spectral Thief and Shadow Sneak. So when anything goes, the highest tier, or even in just normal single battles, and I really recommend this for single battles, it can be used in double battles, but really, it's pretty much only good in single battles. So... Usually people will boost themselves up a lot with different special boosting moves, whatever, with different status moves. And with Spectral Thief, you are able to take those boosts away. So if there's a Pokemon that has six stages of speed and attack, which I have encountered before, there's whole sets built against that. You can steal all those boosts from yourself, for yourself, and with the Focus Sash, you're able to survive a hit. Even if, it, even if it would have destroyed any other Pokemon, you'll survive with one health. So that's why I think Spectral Thief is extremely important. And like that Clefable, that Clefable combo that I showed you, as long as you can hit it because there'd be a lot of Minimize on it, you can steal those six stages of defense and special defense for yourself, which is just, just crazy. Then Shadow Sneak is for if the opponent is still faster than you, then you can get a priority move and attack them with all those boosts. So for move 3 and 4, I really recommend you need a fighting move, because otherwise you cannot even damage normal types. With a fighting move, you can hit them super effectively. I personally use Drain Punch, just because if you're on low health, like 1 health, but got tons of defenses and attack all that boosted, you're really going to want to regain some health back. So I really recommend Drain Punch. Or you could always use Close Combat just for that guaranteed, just for all that damage that you get from Close Combat. But you will lose some defenses. And for your last move, I recommend Bulk Up. Just because if you're already so high on stats and you just want to become even more powerful, you can just keep using Bulk Up and getting even more powerful. And then if you wanted, you could always use Hidden Power. If there is a certain type that you just can't damage or hit super effectively or just a Pokemon that you're worried about, Hidden Power is always an option. So like the Clefable, I don't really have many strategies or tips about this. Um, don't use it in double battles because the chances are both Pokemon are going to hit you and you're just going to die. Like, it's not that good in double battles. And there's really no strategies to this. Just take their boosts and destroy them. And that is, that's about it. I guess thanks for watching. So apparently you survived the whole video. That is impressive. According to YouTube analytics, literally no one does that. Like, no one i'm i'm not joking like my retention time on my videos are like 20 seconds i'm exaggerating a little but it's not long yeah thank you for watching i'm making an out outro now and now i'm just wasting more of your time getting off topic like usual bye i guess <laughs>